We are out here for the first time monitoring the actual hound hunt for bears, which is a lot more activity than anything we've seen before when we've been out to document hound hunting of coyotes or wolves. The first bear baiting station we found was surrounded by wolf tracks. Looking at the tracks, I don't want to step on the sand. I don't want to leave my... Check out these prints. Look at these. This, this is wolf prints. So a bear bait site is a hollowed out log about, it's, it's pretty wide. And uh, they also have this round top that's a log, but it's not hollowed out. And then they'll place a very heavy rock on top of it. And inside of there, which only a bear could move and or humans, there'll be the baits. So like the jellies and the, the stinky things that attract these animals. In, in looking at bear baiting sites, we've definitely seen wolf tracks alongside bear tracks in those bait sites. And so what that tells us is that when the hunters then bring their dogs into these hunting sites or into these baiting sites, that they're putting those dogs at risk of being, you know, uh, killed by the wolves because the wolves will um, defend their territory against other dogs or other canines that sort of enter their space. Get them, you dogs. Get them. Get them, you dogs. Good dogs. Yeah, you picked a good one this time. He's only like 20 feet up. At the end of the day, we, we went to our campground to set up a uh, camp for the night. And uh, while we were setting up our tents, we heard hounds barking. And so we got back in our truck. And as soon as we left the campground in Polk County, we immediately saw a hound truck with two hounds riding on top of the boxes, baying away, barking, and the hunter driving slowly down country roads looking to pick up a fresh bear scent. So this continued for about 15 minutes before another vehicle showed up, which began following us, began pho photographing us, and phone calls were made, and, and within 45 minutes, two Polk County Sheriff's deputies were speeding down the dirt roads, Duca Hazard style, towards us, and you know we were parked on the shoulder of the road, and they approached us. How's it going? Hey, Deputy Hopker at the Sheriff's Department. Yep. yep. So uh, can I see your guys' IDs? Sure. Mm -hmm. What brings you guys out this way? We're monitoring the bear hunt and hound training season. Okay. DNR knows we're doing it. Yeah. Oops, that's my credit card. You don't need that one. You have one too, ma'am? I'm not sure where mine is. Okay. So how long have you guys been out and about looking at bear hunters? and? A couple days since Monday. Okay. All right. Well, I guess I know the DNR knows that you guys are, are out here, but it's harassment. You guys can't be you know, following bear hunters around and, and videotaping them and which what, what laws are we violating uh, hunter harassment law oh i'll take a citation for that i think it's a misdemeanor i mean i i don't believe it's hunter harassment i've spoken to my lawyers about it and uh but i'm not challenging you guys uh, we respect the law we're not trying to break the law okay um well we just got email about this today you know people up here it's, yeah, everybody, it's, it's everybody hunter harassment, I mean, he got called in, that's why we came out here. Yeah. Okay. Um, and granted, you did speak to the DNR, completely mm -hmm. different agency. Our district attorney actually said that if there's you know, an individual falling around filming, you know, mm -hmm. harassing, not mm -hmm. letting the hunters do what they're wanting to do without having to watch their back from somebody filming or, or doing whatever they are, mm -hmm. that we can, we can cite them. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and the situation, I feel as if... Uh, I'm gonna to have to do that. That's fine. We welcome. There is a we want to challenge it mm -hmm. for it and everything else, so you can, you know, go no problem. Ahead and... um, so I th we just we don't want to have confrontation. We want to be able to talk and have this be a civil act that we are doing.
Good morning. Good morning. You have questions. We are here to pick up our citations okay. that we were um, told I were don't being... have any citations for you. Okay. I'm very disappointed. Yeah, this is the first I've asked. Someone's asked you for a citation. What do I have to do? I know. Um, and it was Deputy Hoftender, is that mm -hmm. correct? Yes, and I okay. left him with my phone number and I said if there's any questions, you yeah. know, we just want to make sure we're on the up and up. Often, uh, you are most effective when the government tries to use laws uh, to, ch to stop you. And uh, um, in the interest, or in the cases of hunter harassment laws, uh, in every instance where somebody has been charged, an activist has been charged with hunter harassment, and the case taken to court, the law has been overturned as unconstitutional. Because uh, as we were demonstrating in the forest, uh, one person's legal use of public lands, i.e. bear hound training, does not preclude anybody else's use of public lands, the very same public lands at the same time. You know, one person does not have more rights than any other. That's a simple constitutional and civil rights and human rights issue that has been known in this country for decades. Balsam Lake Republican Assemblyman Adam Jarko has gotten complaints about a group called Wolf Patrol following and filming bear hunters and their dogs this summer. The group aims to protect wolves but also opposes hunting bears with dogs. Jarko has introduced a bill that would make it illegal to, among other things, follow, photograph, or record hunters. If you don't like hunting or you disagree with the tactics or whatever you want to do, protest, write letters, go on TV, do whatever you want to do. But do not go out in the woods and intentionally follow hunters around and harass hunters because not only is it obnoxious, it's actually really dangerous. Penalties in Jarko's bill include fines upwards of $10,000 and up to nine months in jail. Rich Kramer, Wisconsin Public Radio.